Hello my soccer universe. Uh, yes, this has been a little bit of making but I really wanted to get all the results from the second Bundesliga in as well to make this a whole Germany-Austria video, although most of the games were already played by Wednesday. But I probably should be varying either Bayern or Lusk uh, for their achievement, but I honestly have to say I use this video as an excuse to finally wear my newly acquired Stuttgart jersey, 97-98. I absolutely love this jersey in so many regards that I think it's more than worth it to be worn now. I'm wearing a black shirt under and this is very, very heavily ventilated. So that's why there seem to be more stripes in there than probably should be wonderful jersey, this one. And let's start off in Germany. Um, Many results. We had Gladbach having not much trouble with Wolfsburg. I think the game was basically done at uh, halftime, as far as I can tell, through two goals by Jonas Hoffmann. Um, then the three evening games, uh, first the two lesser interesting ones, although Freiburg Hertha was quite a dicey game. Um, lots of going back and forth. Um, uh, jostling and so on. Uh, and then within 10 minutes, three goals were scored. Uh, Grifo and Peterson for Freie Freiburg and in between Ibisevic uh, um, converted a penalty. And Union had really not much trouble uh, beating Paderborn, although the result is much closer and that, as we'll see this result sends Paderborn down. Uh, so that settles the bottom of the league and the top of the league also got settled, although Werder did a pretty good job against Bremen over uh, Werder, Werder against, Bremen, against Bayern overall, um, really keeping the game level. There was a situation where Alfonso Davis in the first half um, should have been sent, sent off and he clearly kicked at the um, player of Bremen. Um, that this didn't go to VAR, he just got a yellow card. I think he should have been looked at VAR and he should have been sent off for that um, and just when everyone thought they had to go nil nil into halftime Lewandowski scores uh, admittedly a nice goal uh, he had one even nicer one taken out uh, earlier where I think he kind of back healed it in but yeah well, assist by Jérôme Boateng who suddenly everyone thought he's going downhill and now he is one of the main defenders again uh, and Alaba that is anyway, he wants to be a midfielder and now he is a central defender directing ev everyone from back there, whatever. Bremen had then some hard time but got helped uh, late on by another yellow card uh, for Davis who then retroactively got sent off. That was not so much a yellow card, I think it, he, he just used up all his karma in a way. And then Bremen really had chances uh, to get level. But they only lose 1-0 and at the time I thought, yeah, a point would have been nice, but, you know, only losing 1-0 to Bayern, who have been steamrolling everyone else, that might be good for goal difference. It still might be good for goal difference, but the remaining results did definitely not go there this way. Uh, we just look at it. I mean, first of all, Frankfurt against Schalke, that didn't matter. Uh, Frankfurt seemed to have this game wrapped up. Uh, Midway through the uh, second half, under Silva and Abraham getting getting goals. Ah, not midway through, but but uh, sure, sure with a 60 minute uh, 60 minute mark. But then McKenny gets a goal back, and suddenly Frankfurt was considerably shaking, and Schalke could have gotten a draw of that when it was before that a very clear game. First goal by Andre Silva was a nice one uh, as well. But then the evening games, and I think. Uh, we just have to look at the last two, really, because the other the other two I didn't see much. I mean, uh, you see the results there. Dortmund with a super lackluster performance, almost all like they did already against Düsseldorf, loses at home 2-0 to Mainz. Fully deserved. It could have been even, even more. Uh, Jonathan Burkhardt in the 33rd and with a penalty, Jean-Philippe Mateta uh, make it 2-0. Huge uh, outcry actually in, Ger in Germany because they see uh, Dortmund's lackluster showing as a sign that they have given up. They have mailed it in because they already qualified for Champions League. There's nothing left to play for them anymore. They won't become champions, so why bother? Well, you're severely distorting 
the relegation battle um, with that behavior. But again, um, what can I say? And then Leipzig, uh, who played in their Champions League jerseys, uh, interestingly, again cannot get a win at home. And they seemed very well on their way. Also not the greatest showing, uh, but the first of all, Campbell should have gotten a penalty early in the first half with a potential red card. Uh, I don't know why this wasn't given. But then 1663rd, Campbell and Timo Werner set Leipzig well on the way to a 2-0. Up until the end, Steven Skripski makes it 1-2. And then Dusseldorf goes forward and gets in stoppage time um, through a header by Andre Hoffmann. The equalizer. Huge points. You did not expect Mainz and Dusseldorf to make any points. Uh, Bremen didn't make points. So uh, the implications on the table are now huge because um, let's go first to the bottom because Mainz actually looks relatively safe now. They are six points ahead of, um, a, rele of a secure relegation spot and five ahead of the proper uh, of the relegation playoff. So uh, Mainz, although still in trouble in a way, are actually looking kind of safe. They have now a game against Bremen where if they make just a point, they're safe. And that actually, I think, will also not bode well for Bremen itself. Uh, we'll, we'll, look, we'll look in a second uh, who, who, who they're playing next. On top, Bayern champions and, of course, qualify for Champions League, as is Dortmund, Leipzig more or less through. Dortmund Leipzig will be playing next. In the race for the last Champions League spot, uh, it's still a tight race between Gladbach and Leverkusen, with Leverkusen having just the inside track because they have a one point more. Uh, and here is the, we have look looking at what, what to watch, but I, I think it's worth it. They're all played on Saturday, 3.30, which I absolutely love. The big one would be Leipzig Dortmund, but on, on, honestly, what, whatever they were showing, I don't think anyone should concentrate on that. I think the two games to concentrate on is Düsseldorf against Augsburg. Huge game, because Augsburg can be dragged into and uh, Köln could also get dragged into that. Uh, they Minimal chances, but they are not safe yet. And then Werder against Mainz. Werder absolutely 100% needs a win there if they want to give themselves a shot at progressing. But yeah, top and bottom in Germany are settled and uh, there's lots to play for still. Let's go to the second Bundesliga, I'm wearing Stuttgart, where uh, first on Monday Bielefeld put them within Epsilon of become, uh, becoming a uh, bonus uh, of securing the promotion with a 4-0 win over Dresden. Dresden was actually for the most time well in, in, into the game but uh, Bielefeld was just um, ruthless in front of goal. And then in, in, in the end, Dresden just, Dresden just collapsed. Um, and then on Tuesday, Hamburg had a 1-0 lead, um, looked at halftime well on the way to, um, you know, confirming their status as, 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 as the second uh, promoted team. But Osnabrück came actually quite well back and got an early equalizer and it ends 1-1, putting Hamburg in trouble and handing the promotion spot to Bielefeld. Uh, a very remarkable result, 6-0 Nuremberg over Wiesbaden. That was something that Nuremberg needed. Uh, as we'll see, that put them kind of safe. And then Stuttgart took full advantage. Uh, they just lost against Karlsruhe. They took full advantage that they had now a chance that uh, Hamburg was choking a little bit. And steamrolled Sandhausen 4-0 at halftime. Actually, uh, two very good goals, a penalty. And then the other two goals by Stuttgart were rather messy. Sandhausen just pulls one back for consolation. And very late uh, yesterday, Arminia Bielefeld with a, you know, second string uh, team kind of still partying whatsoever because they had everything down. They, in the second half, pull it together, get a 1-0 win over Darmstadt. Those were the two best teams of the second half of the season and secure also the championship. So if we look at the table now, Bielefeld, all safe. Dresden, more or less relegated. Uh, it was a horrible week for them. They have very little chance of getting out there. And yeah, they can best make the promotion playoff, uh, the relegation playoff spot. spot. Stuttgart leapfrogging now Hamburg and is in a driver's seat with one point advantage. Um, but the program next week for both teams is not the easiest one. Heidenheim uh, looks now a little bit out of it, I have to say. 
I don't think they have a chance since uh, Stuttgart and Hamburg. They might get uh, maybe third, but it, I don't see them making second uh, place. And let's look at the, the next round. Both teams have dicey uh, games. This is all played on Sunday at 3.30. Heidenheim against Hamburg. This is the big chance for Heidenheim to maybe um, get this last promotion spot. If they would win, they would leapfrog uh, Hamburg. And Nuremberg, Stuttgart, from the table it's a uh, clear cut, but Nuremberg maybe gets back on track. So also interesting in second Bundesliga. And then let's finish in Austria, where um, Rapid gets again a narrow win. But I have to say it's... <clears throat> Uh, they also get uh, have many in, in, in injuries. They are just on a roll. Wolfsburg stops Salzburg for once, and then Lusk finally gets the win. Very early on, uh, Peter Michel uh, sends them on the way to the win, and then uh, from there on, there was no holding back. It was already 3 0 at the half uh, through Dominic Frieser and Balic, and then in stoppage time, Klaus with a uh, scissor kick win uh, makes it 4 for nil. In, in between, Sturm had a chance to pull it back, but was not really. Uh, was very well saved by our, our, our goalie. Lask complete dominated one and now finally arrived and I hope they can make now a push uh, to at least secure third place. If you look at the table, just by uh, the wins, the Ross lost, they should not even be in third place. They should be in second place, even if you de deduct the points. Uh, but yeah, uh, this looks much more better to me. Uh, Salzburg more or less champions. Rapid is the only team that has a realistic chance of challenging them, but it's very minimal. But it looks like that those two will end up um, in the top two spaces and Lusk is probably uh, end up in third. And uh, the relegation, again, everything is flip-flopping. Austria back, back on top and the bottom four. That's one of the closest dogfights that I've seen. Um, let me know what you thought about the games in Germany and Austria. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.